All right, team. First run in two weeks. It's Sunday. It's uh, it's about 7.30, quarter to eight. And um, <clears throat> just going to attempt a nice little, probably 2 k just out and back to the bluff and see how everything is. Done a couple of walks, been tired, feeling good today. Um, we're just going to test it out. Got some new shoes, as you would have just seen. I've got some warm socks on. I've got some gloves in my pocket. It is foggy, as you can see. Just keen to get out. That's all I want to do. So this will be a bit of a taste tester to see where everything's at, see how my stamina and fitness is and, and all that, because the last two weeks have just been brutal. So <clears throat> wish me luck. Come along for the ride. I'll let you know all about it at the end anyway. And um, yeah, let's do it. So far, not too bad. Something's coming up though. halfway in this is what I was hoping for and this is what I got so I'm very grateful <clears throat> feeling okay definitely feeling I'm running a little tense just because I'm a bit scared I'm a bit nervous with the fatigue and for those that don't know I've been really struggling with the fatigue just doing basic motor skill kind of things and it's been a bit overwhelming um, <clears throat> but to get out and do just this small jog is a step in the right direction so of course I'm not done yet and I've got to see how I pull up later, but documenting it to see how it goes. I feel, feel a bit heavy, feel a bit, just definitely don't feel relaxed. But I don't know if that's because I haven't ran for two weeks, or if it's the nerves. Or, it's probably a bit of everything, to be honest. But this is worth it. This is what it's all about. Alright, so, what am I on? I'm on... 10 minutes, basically I'll uh, do 10 minutes back and give me a good 20 minute run and then we can see how I pull up afterwards, so pretty excited to get back out of it. I've missed this so much. It's uh, One thing I want to be very clear on is running isn't just about the training for me or for the weight loss or anything like that, it's actually more, it's my, it's like active meditation, it's my chance to escape everything, it's my, yeah, it's where I do a lot of thinking, planning, where I can just hang out with myself, catch up on some audio books, listen to music and when I'm not doing that, a lot of other things I feel they they don't get their best potential because here is where I'm recovering, here is where I'm replenishing my mind and, and all that jazz so <clears throat> it's important, it's important to find something like that for yourself All right team, we're going to head back, let's do it, let's do it wasn't too bad definitely um <laughs> feeling a few things in the in the quads and the hamstrings and the ankles and uh, just because I've been so bedridden for the last couple of couple of weeks so there's a few muscles there which definitely need to have some better warm-up and some better stretch but <sighs> it's so good to be back out and at it I feel alright um heart rate all around was pretty good we'll have a look in a second but we've done 3k 21 minutes a 701 pace just taking it easy and that's what it's all about <clears throat> it's just i gotta get back into this as sensibly as possible as much as i wanted to keep going <laughs> i know i can't I, I i just have to have to test it out so we'll see how i pull up after this i'll give you a recap of the week which was this one run but by the time i filmed that it would have been a good 12, 24 hours 
since I've done this run and that way we can get a better gauge of how things are. Let's uh, see how I pull up. All right, so week 10, um, it was it was short and sharp, but I think the, the key takeaway has been I've been able to get back out. Now, as I said just before, that um, I'm going to film this basically 24 hours afterwards since doing the run. Now, it has been about that 24 hours, probably been about probably 22 hours and feeling okay. Um, I pulled up after the run, not too bad. I didn't really necessarily feel fatigued or anything like that. Probably felt tired, but you know, there were certain muscles and parts of my body which have been just been in bed for the last two weeks. So I am feeling a little stiff, a little sore here and there, but all in all, I think it was a successful run. Um, going forward into week 11, I will start to try and do a bit more, um, you know, a run here, run there and see if I can do a 5k and go from that. So not really following any plan at this point, really just gauging progress over time. So I'll do a 5k, see how that goes, might do another 5k, might do a 7k and then I'll start to work it up. But I really got to see how I pull up the day after to really understand where things are at. So look, I'll give you a quick flash of the dashboard. Here we are. This is what everything's looking like. Obviously, we've had a bit of a dip. Things have kind of gone a little stale. Um, did a total of 3k for week 10. It is what it is. Um, I'm weighing between extremely frustrated and also grateful that I'm able to start coming back. So <laughs> it is what it is. Still got plenty of time to get to where I need to be, um, assuming I can manage it. So that, that's really the plan. So I appreciate all the comments, all the all the thoughts and all the messages and things like that. It, thank you so much. And I know there's a few other people that have gone through this same boat. So hang in there. Um, we'll get there. We'll, we'll, we'll get there indeed. And we just got to take it slow and just work, work with what we've got. So hopefully, you uh, it won't be as long as I expected to get back to full recovery, but as long as it takes, that's what we're going to do because that's the priority. And yeah, that's, uh, that's, um, <laughs> week 10 for you folks. We're almost halfway through the, the, the actual training. So halfway is about week, week 11, week 12. So hopefully by then, I'm back at full conditioning and I can start to really yeah, put some put some miles down and things like that. So take each week as it comes, each day as it comes, and I'll keep you updated. So appreciate being here. If you've got any questions, any comments, do let me know. There were some questions that I had from someone that I haven't answered yet, which I'll get to once I get back into a bit of a groove. All right. Appreciate you being here. You have a wonderful day. Cheers. <laughs>